Yo hey guys, so before this video starts, I just want to say that you're not going to be able to mod every Xbox One game. This is only going to work for a certain amount of games just because of how it's done. And I found this really cool, even though there's not a lot of games out there that are good that can be modded, but it's still fun to actually mod on Xbox One. And it's also good if you want to get achievements and, you know, you want to play new games that you've never actually played before and you want, you know, like Infinity Lives or Infinity Ammo just to make it go quicker. But yeah, so let's get on with the video. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the description of this video and you want to download this program here called Cheat Engine. Now we're going to be using this program to pretty much um, get certain stuff for the games like ammo and this program also changes the values of the ammo as well so we're going to be using the program to pretty much give us unlimited health, unlimited ammo and stuff like that. So yes, it is very useful if you download that. So like I said a minute ago about with um, not being able to mod every game. so. If you're basically watching this video to put a mod menu onto GTA 5 or something like that for Xbox One, then I'm just going to tell you now that it's not possible and every video out there saying you can do that and the same as like Black Ops 4, Aimbot and everything, it's, it's all fake. It's all done through PC gaming and stuff, it's nothing to do with Xbox One, it's just people wanting views and money on their videos. So basically how this thing works is there's something that xbox released a couple of years ago called xbox play anywhere now if some of you don't know what that is i'm going to tell you now and what this allows you to do is it allows you to play games that you've bought on your xbox one but on your pc as well so say you bought forza horizon 4 on your xbox one and you have um, like a gaming pc as well you can download forza horizon 4 for free and play it on your pc as well and it uses your Xbox Live account and it also uses your saves and online rank and everything so everything you do on your PC gets sent to your Xbox as well so if you you know level up to like level 20 on a game it's going to be level 20 when you go onto your Xbox side as well but the problem with this is not every game um, can do that yet and I don't know why it's just something that they don't really update but they are going to be updating it a lot soon but yeah if you go onto their website you can basically see every game that um, they allow you to play on the PC as well so in this tutorial I'm going to pretty much download um, this game right here called Steam World Dig 2 just because it's a small game and I don't really have a lot of storage on my Xbox side and I don't really want to delete something like um, GTA 5 or something because um, it'll probably take me like two days to download again but um, yeah if you want to download this game as well then be sure to do that okay so now the game's downloaded uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play that so we click play and I'm going to make the screen smaller on this just so we can see our desktop uh, put it about there And then yeah, once you pretty much play a game on the PC side, it's going to lock you into your Xbox account and everything like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a save and I'm going to start a new game just to show proof that this is working and I'm not using like a, a save I've spent um, hundreds of hundreds of hours on or something like that and we're going to do it on easy problem with this game though is it makes you do like a 10 minute tutorial until you can actually like get money and stuff so what I'm going to pretty much do is skip the video until I can actually earn money and um, yeah Okay, so now I've gotten to the point where I can basically get diamonds and uh, sell them to make money. Um, I'm just going to quickly get a load of diamonds and then we're going to go to the guy to get money from them. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you how to mod the money.
Okay, so if we go to this guy, he should give us about six dollars. And then if we go over here, this is basically where we can buy stuff. Um, so we can buy this rock bottom lamp right here, which is six dollars. So before we do anything like that, um, this is the part when you want to open the program cheat engine. Now the version I have for cheat engine is an older version, but you can get the new version. Um, I don't really think there's a difference. I just use this older version because it works better for the Xbox 360 mod inside because I do stuff on there as well. Okay, so now that we've got Cheat Engine open, what you basically want to do is once you've got it open and it looks like this, you just want to go to this icon right here and this is basically where you attach an application to this uh, Cheat Engine thing. Now for this game, um, I think it's called D yeah, Dig2.exe. So whatever game you're playing, um, it's going to say the name and then the .exe with it. For some reason this has come up as dig2.exe when this game is actually called Steamworld Dig2. So some games might do that, but if you're doing like Forza Horizon 3 or something, then it will say Forza.exe or Forza Horizon 3. And once you've basically clicked that, you just want to press open. And now that means that this tool is now connected to the game. Which basically means is uh, we can get memory from the game, example ammo or something, and then we can uh, change it as well to give us like unlimited ammo. So because we're going to be editing the money, which we have six dollars at the minute, you just want to go to this text box over here, and you basically want to put the number that you've got on the game. So because we've got six dollars, you just want to put the value of six in here. And now what you want to do is you want to press this button here called first scan. And this basically scans the whole game to try and find what address, what address's value has six. And what that basically does is it scans the whole game to see what address has a value of six. So there's currently 14,000 addresses on this game that have a value of six at the minute. So one of these addresses is gonna be to do with like the money. But instead of searching through 14,000 of them, um, which is going to probably take you days to actually find, um, there is an easier way to get the money. This is when we go back to the game. And this is when we buy the lamp for $6. And that takes us to zero money. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to Cheat Engine and you want to change that to 0 instead of 6. And instead of pressing New Scan, you now want to press Next Scan. So because we already dumped the memory which it did on New Scan, um, we don't have to do that anymore. And the reason why we're pressing Next Scan is because that's basically comparing addresses and and um, going from what we've lost and everything so because we put six at the start because we had six dollars and because we lost the six dollars and have now zero money it's now basically seeing what's gone from six to zero and these addresses right here are the ones that have gone from six to zero and it's actually found 947 so that is still quite a lot to go through just to find the money so this is where you go back to the game again and we basically go and get a load of diamonds and um, sell them to that guy again so we get more money. I'm going to press start game and we're going to go back to cheat engine and we're going to change the zero to a two because we've got two dollars now. And then you want to press next scan again. And now as you can see, it's now only found seven. So there's only seven addresses that have changed from zero to two. So you can keep doing this and the addresses will keep getting lower and lower until you get to like one address. But once it's at like 
when when it's found like seven or ten um, you don't really have to worry about that anymore so what you want to do when you've only got a couple uh, you just basically want to highlight all of them and drag them down here and now what this lets you do now is change the values of everything so as you can see here some of these values are like just changing over and over so what that means is you know for a fact that's not going to be in the money because like this is auto updating over and over again so if it was the money it's always going to stay as two because our money is two so you know for a fact that it's not going to be that so we're going to delete that and we're going to delete that one as well um what other one changed yeah that one changed so delete that one this one's changing as well so we're going to delete that one so it's going to be one of these so if you double click on the two or below value of each address it comes up with this little box here which lets you change the value so instead of two um, let's change that to let's say 50 and now if you go back to the game and you still only got two dollars and it's not changed then you know it's not going to be that address so we're going to delete that one and we're going to do this one fine that didn't change either so you know it's not that one and we're going to do this one so now this one should definitely change everything so yeah as you can see now we've got fifty dollars and you can put any number in here you want you can put like nine billion and it will come up as nine billion um, we're just going to put uh, let's just say one three three seven 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 and uh, there you go we got all that money so if we quickly close that and we go back to this game and just to show you proof that you can actually buy everything and it's changed um, we're just going to buy that, we're going to buy that, buy that, buy that, buy that, buy that, buy that and yeah that's basically how easy it is to mod games with money and level and everything like that obviously you don't have to do money you can do level as well as you can see on this game it says level one um, you can just put number one in cheat engine and then if you get to level two just change that to two then keep doing that over and over again and you'll soon enough get the um, the address that handles the levels and everything and then you can put yourself to like level a thousand or something um, but in this tutorial we're not going to do that because I'm trying to make this tutorial really quick so yeah let's go on the Xbox one version and see what happens okay so now that we're on the Xbox side, i um, just going to press start game and as you can see it has the same uh, save settings as what we had on the PC version so because we made game 3 uh, we're going to play on that one and um, yeah so this is basically where I stopped the video and went to turn my Xbox one on so if we press start and as you can see at the top right that was the money that we had so there's proof that it does save and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you need any help then be sure to uh, comment anything you want in the description I'll try my best to help uh, be sure to like this video as well because there is a lot of fake videos out there no one's actually done a tutorial on this because I don't think anyone knows how and yeah I just found this out randomly just by you know trial and error trying to get things to work seeing if it's possible you can do this online with games like Crackdown and GTA 4 but I would say not to just because it's to do with online like it's not good giving yourself like um, 90 level or like all the golden guns and all like unlock all and everything for like Gears of War 4 because it comes up on Microsoft's database or whatever it is and you'll probably get banned for that but um, yeah for offline games it can be cool it can be cool indeed but um, yeah hope you enjoyed the video and I may make more tutorials on this on how to do other stuff as well but um, yeah peace